In this video, we got to fix this monstrosity. Oh dear. Guys, in this video we've got to fix this mess here. A load of spare parts have just turned up. I've been waiting for the chassis. I've got a new drive shaft, so let's crack on. By the way, I'm going to put a link up here if you want to see what happened. So, so far what I know is broken is obviously the chassis, the servo, the centre drive shaft has bent and the front diff holder here. Oh, and also the um, receiver box has got a chunk missing out of that there. So. I've got all the bits here. We're gonna strip it down. We're gonna put them all on and hopefully not find too many more damages along the way. Also, while we're going at it, I wanna put in the high speed pinion because we wanna take this to a skate park, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how, how the weather holds out and we're gonna take it, air it out again. But I wanna be able to do more stunts with it and for that, it needs a bit more wheel speed. Also, uh, oh, I'll show you that later on. Leave a note down below if you know what's under here. So I've got a new servo case here, but I also have a bag full of knackered servos and the case on this one here looks good. So I think I'm gonna put that one on there and save that for another day. All right, let's crack on. new chassis time here's the part number so what i want to do is to start transferring the parts over as we go along so that i don't have a whole pile of parts and then forget where all the bits go but before we do that i want to fit the high speed gearing just while we've got the motor exposed so a little dab of loctite there for the new grub screw pinion so the gear that's on there now is an 11 tooth and i want to replace it with this one here which is a 17 so that should go quite a lot faster because i was quite disappointed at how fast this was i didn't think it was really that fast out of the box so hopefully now it's gonna rip oh guys look this shaft looks a bit bent uh, i haven't got any spares so it's gonna have to go back in for now but i will order a new shaft All right, so guys, it's important that you get your gear mesh right. I mean, if it's too tight, you're gonna knacker all your bearings, everything's gonna get hot, but too loose, you're gonna strip your gear. So it's a bit of trial and error. You wanna get it as close as you possibly can, but you still want a little bit of movement between the gears. You don't want it locked up completely solid. And I think because this shaft is bent, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get it perfect. All right, that'll do. All right, so next I did want to fit a new receiver box, but the one that I ordered is the wrong one. This is for something else. If you look at this one here, it's got this little standoff thingy my jigs here, and the other one hasn't. So I'm just going to have to reuse this one here, which isn't really that much of a big deal. I mean, it's still got two mounting points. It's just this one here is missing. All right, next I want to fix the servo. I'm not gonna move the horn. I'm gonna leave it in the 90 degree position because then hopefully I don't have to turn the radio on in order to center it. So if I make sure that stays in that position, hopefully it's gonna be all right. So inside the servos, it's always messy and greasy, so the gloves are on. All right, so I've got my new second hand cap there. Put that back on, screws back in. because I didn't move the horn and left it at 90 degrees, that should go back on like that, and boom. All right, nearly done. Just got to bolt the front end back on, get the diff case back on, and we should be back in action. Ah, guys, one thing that's a bit of a pain in the butt is that where the chassis broke, 
Um, I can't get this servo back in without going into the receiver box. I've got to open it all up just to get that plug out, thread it through the hole and then put it all back together. Ah, hold on, hold fire, no drive shaft. Who noticed that I forgot about the drive shaft? But first, before I put that in, I do want to see if I can straighten this out a little bit. I might just wallop it with a hammer. I want to see if I can get this shaft a little bit straighter. I know some of you guys are going to cringe, some of you professionals out there, but don't forget, it's only a toy. Oh, look at that. Perfectly straight, first shot, check it out. Subscribe. All oh, right, so new shaft, here's the part number. Hopefully Techno RC are gonna come out with a drive shaft for this. I know they've got one for the slash four before. I kept bending the drive shaft in this, the center shaft. And after putting in that Techno RC shaft, it's never bent again. So I'm hoping that Techno RC are gonna make a shaft for this one too. Wiggle it in. There we go. All right, we're getting there. All I've got to do now is put the front diff cover back on, put the battery clamp in there, and that's going to be pretty much done. By the way, guys, I might get a Mamba X ESC and make this thing success. Oh my God, guys, that's going to be fast. Give me a note in the comments. Do you want to see this thing go on success? I should have bought a new one of these little felt padding things, but I forgot. So let's see if I can rescue this one. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Ah, that's all I've got, so that's all that's gonna go in. All right, we're in, we're in. Oh, look, hello, Diff. So luckily the rest of the diff case is fine, so I can get away with just putting on this front cover here. I don't have to strip the whole front end down. So there you have it guys, all back to a former glory. Uh, kind of almost. Uh, even that shaft looks pretty straight in there now. We've got it. Oh, 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 <laughs> I've got to open it up again and tighten the motor up. I'm going to do that off camera. But anyway, she's back to her full glory. Check it out, guys. I reckon this thing looks epic. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you what's under here. Subscribe. One thing that I do want to modify or try and fix on this is last time we took it out, Ugh. Every sort of hard landing, the body used to pop off from the front. So I don't know if any of you guys have got a fix for that. Give me a note in the comments. I was thinking maybe drilling a hole through there and having like a screw sticking out so that it goes under here further. Because literally every hard landing, it was like pop and it was off. It was getting a little bit silly. So anybody got a fix for that, let me know. So guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button so notified. We're going to take this to the skate park. Well, we're planning on tomorrow. So if the weather holds up, that's where we're going to go. And also, I want to make it success soon and see how fast this thing's going to go and then air it out as well. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, bell button, blah, 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 blah. You know what you got to do. Bah! Oh! That'd be the... Oh! X-Max! No! No! Oh! That was my brand new... That's my 4x4. Whoopsie. Oh, no! Uh, oh, did it hit that? Yep. Head on. Oh, I've got bits of plastic here. This has killed everything. Oh, at least I can get the parts from. <laughs>